Hi, spooky people. My name is Betty Betty Makumi Babs and welcome back to the channel. And with that, also welcome back to the beaches of Happy Home Paradise. And you already know what that means. It's right. It's time for another episode of Will It Spooky? <laughs> Yeah, I'm so excited to see what we will be getting today. I've had a look at the villages that we have on the beaches right now, and I can tell you it's not looking too good, <laughs> depending on what theme we're getting today. Things might get a little bit difficult, but, you know, I can tell how difficult it's going to get because I don't know yet what theme we're going to be doing. So why don't we head over to our little spinny spinny wheel? And here we are at our beautiful wheel, and I say, let's just, let's get spinning. Alrighty guys, it is Goblin Core. I don't really know yet what we're gonna do with that. But uh, I said, let's first take a look at if we have any villager that would fit a goblin core type build. I mean, like, he is one hell of a goblin. Holy frick. But that's not really what I imagine when I'm thinking of goblin core. So I've just thrown on my business attire because I went around and checked every single villager that we have. And none of them fit whatever I had in mind with goblin core. Because when I first had the idea of goblin core, I kind of imagined uh, mixing it a little bit with swamp core. Don't really know how I would do that without any specific codes. But I'm like imagining muted browns, muted greens, like mushrooms, tinkering stuff, whatever. Like whatever a freaking goblin would do, like collecting some bones and stones and stuff. And none of the villagers actually fit that in any way, except maybe Butch. I could think about Butch. I'm gonna take one final look at my boy Butch. Uh, and then I'm gonna think, if, uh, think about if I am going to amiibo any of these three bad boys in, or if I'm just gonna, you know, take Butch. So let's get it going. Alrighty, so here we have the boy in question. And you know, right now he is looking quite, how do I phrase it, dapper? Is that the right word? Like quite business? He is looking very business. And I think that if I would, for example, put him in one of the frugal things, I think that he could actually work quite well. Yeah, you know what? No, I'm not gonna bother uh, amiiboing anyone in. I'm just gonna pick Sir Butch. Alrighty, now let's look at the plots. What screams goblin core? <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking goblins, like when, when I think of goblin core aesthetic, then it's always kind of foresty, but it's also kind of autumn-y, if that makes sense. So I don't know if I, for example, like want to pick anything like this and kind of make it more foresty, or if I want to go like straight up autumn. Oh boy. I am kind of feeling this one because it's just straight up woods. I think I'm gonna take this one. And you already know it's a one level home. Alrighty, and here we are. So let's get brainstorming. We wanna create Goblin Core, but spooky. I don't really know what I'm doing. So how about you guys give me a second while I try and pick out some items that I think could Goblin Core Spookify this build. So I'll be right back. Alrighty friends, so this is what I have so far. I've just picked out some random items that I think could work. Now my goal is to create this overgrown kind of mushroomy, foresty, maybe I'll use like these tall items thingies and i thought you know maybe he's just like the the mega goblin the goblin king whatever the little gremlin that lives in the forest and i thought wouldn't it be funny if he had like some little henchman that did his little dirty works like stealing from people stealing people and if those uh maybe where these little bad boys right here and i uh, like this little bad boy singular and i thought it would be kind of funny to create like this gnome forest situation kind of like i created it on my island yeah 
And that's basically my thought process so far. What's spooky about it? Don't know yet. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Alrighty, I've now also picked out some bushes to place around because I think this build could use some bushes. Don't you agree? I think I think you would agree. But just generally some shrubbery greenery. Mm-hmm. Greenery, Jesus Christ. But I honestly don't know yet how the frick I'm supposed to make this look spooky. <laughs> I don't know. I think in the end it all will come together once I like turn all of this to nighttime. That usually does the job, in my opinion. Maybe I need to uh, match the house. Yeah, I'll do that first. Wouldn't it be funny if like the little gremlin, goblin, whatever, had like a house that matches its interior? So like brownish, green. Don't these have like nice woodsy, crafty, goblin looking stuff? Hmm. <laughs> Tricky. Ooh, ooh, this kind of looks like goblin. Whatever that means, but you know. Tell me. Tell me why there is no matching door to anything. But then again, that's like a goblin thing. I think I get I I don't know, I'm not a goblin. I would love to be one, like no responsibilities in life. No responsibility, just goblin. And then maybe the time of the mush wreath has come. What sticks? When I think of goblins, do I think of sticks or mushrooms? I think both. So, mushroom wreath it is. Is that spooky though? Not really. I think I'm gonna get rid of these three items here because they just don't... You know, they don't make me feel the, the, the vibes. Hard to explain, but they just don't... They don't do it for me. I also don't know about this cave yet. I don't know. I don't think I like it. I don't. All right. I'm going to just fill this entire corner with trees and then just these tree stumps. And then I'm going to be placing just hundreds of these. I want to place this tree here, but I can't because then you can't see what's behind it. So I would have to place like a tiny tree here, which I hate. I don't care. Big tree it is. I actually like really like this combi right here, like with the bench. Also right in front of the house. I'm kind of digging the vibe. Ooh, maybe I don't have to do that. Maybe I can also just use different trees. Like that's an option. I mean, hello. That's perfect. Holy frick. I can't believe how I always forget that this bamboo is an option. How do I forget that? How do I keep forgetting? Is that really goblin core? I don't know. Maybe I'll have to like create an area where they're crafting anything or something. Just tiny things because right now it's just gnome core. <laughs> Very funny haha I know you all laughed. Don't even lie. It's going to be back to the murder murder gnomes. Like I think that's like a reoccurring theme for me but Let's be honest, do I care? No. So how about we do like a little gnome circle? It's not like we haven't done that like five billion times before. Is that a circle? I mean, sure. Whatever. Mm. Well, let me explain my lore to you. I've just like in this second come up with a lore. This fine gentleman down here, you know, this one right there. He is the absolute... <laughs> this is going to sound so dumb. He is like a goblin core influencer on on the on the on the t 
TikTok app, you know? <laughs> Maybe he even owns like a little store or whatever. And he is known for his like beautiful bone necklaces and like bone stuff left and right. And everyone's like, damn, like where do you get all these bones? And he's just like, yeah, I found them in the forest. Ah, <laughs> funny. But it's actually his little gnome friends that are just like m straight up murdering people to collect his bones. Like, how are we feeling about this? <laughs> I think, um, I think I like that. <laughs> Can we fit some gnomes there? Okay. You have to go. Okay, I'm gonna spice it up with some more trees. Kind of lining the way to the house. Do you think that's cute? I think that is absolutely adorable. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This doesn't look too bad. Okay, I love this. And then I'm just gonna shrub it up. I think we should just fill all of it with moss, like with weeds. Yes. Like, does that look cute? I don't know. All right, let's turn it over to nighttime. Don't you think that that would look quite nice? I wish we could do fog. Fog would be so nice. I don't know how I'm feeling about this lamp. I have a feeling. <laughs> Gonna regret this. <laughs> I love the idea of this just being right here, but it just it's not gonna work. Yes. Let's head over to the inside. Alrighty, so thinking about goblin core, what I'm imagining is just very simply, if we has all of his gnomes on the outside, you know, like collecting human bones, then he needs to also be like dissecting the humans, you know, like doing the actual work, crafting his little goblin, um, goblin necklaces, whatever, doing all of his goblin core killer influencer shit. So I think it's time for the speed build and I'll see what I come up with.
Alrighty guys, and with that we are done with the inside and I am absolutely in love with this build. I love it so much, it's so pretty. And it's so fucking nice. <laughs> like I can't even, I can't even handle it. So let me just let me show you around. First of all, of course, we're gonna explain what we got going on right here. So like I said, he has this little goblin core TikTok business going on where he's like selling stuff made out of bones and like things he collected in the forest, all cute and shit. And everyone is like, ah, oh, it's so nice, it's so cute. How do you do it? And he's like, ah, it's a secret. But like I said, like he is kidnapping people and just stealing their bones. So, <laughs> well, well, it is what it is. Let's let's head over to this corner over here. Here we have what I would like to call like a little break room. Like they kind of, you know, they're just chilling, munching on some mushrooms, all cute. We got some wall decoration, a very nice. Then over here we have like the working area. As you can see, we have multiple like tables with, let's call them patients, with like patients on him. And of course, you know, they need to be like, taken apart and stuff to collect their bones. And as you can see, we also have hardworking goblin gnomes over there packing up some orders, sorting the bones, being a busy business employee. And I also thought it was like absolutely adorable. I say adorable in a murder scene, all right. But I thought it was just absolutely banger that we have these little cuties up on the wall. Because hello, like hello, it's just absolutely cute. To have like the utensils that you need to take these people apart. Uh -huh. Just adorable, don't you think? Wouldn't you agree? So that is basically the front entrance area that you see as soon as you come in. And then we have this little section right here, which I love. Like the little walk through little... I don't even know how to describe this. All I know is that I absolutely am in love with it. Of course, we have this little one right here greeting us. Kind of, you know, being like, girl, if you step one foot into here just know that you are potentially in danger and i think that's absolutely cute of him all right this is maybe like a better way to show you what is going on let me just figure this out yes so if you come in and you walk straight in here you have basically three ways to go here was like the little gnome that I told you who was kind of, you know, guiding us around or like telling us where to go. And I thought that this wallpaper right here is an absolute freaking banger simply because, you know, it's a big business. If you know what I'm saying, it is a big business. Let me just move back here, please. Thank you. So over here we have like, you know, some up close shots, you know, he's taking care of some some things here don't know what he's doing thought he was cute this is not enough to sustain a big business so maybe these are also the ones that they started with and this is how it's progressed don't know i'll let you decide then over here of course if you have like a bone necklace business or whatever you of course need space like for storage and containers from where you're going to sell stuff. There's also some that are already a den for shipping. And then down here we have some more busy workers trying to, you know, get rid of one more body. As you do. Just, you know, as you do. Look at him, he's evil! Oh my god! Did you just see him behind that tree? He's a spooky bitch confirmed! Did you just see him the way that he stood behind this tree? Holy shit! Do not. Do not turn on my lamps. I think that this is a banger. Alrighty, and with that being said, I think we are done with this episode of Will It Spooky Goblin Core. And I think we did quite a good job. I absolutely am in love with how this turned out. And I honestly think that it's spooky. 
but obviously that is as usual your choice like i'm gonna let you decide again while butch is watering his plants for whatever reason why don't we take a little look at the results of last time's will it spooky in the last will it spooky episode we tackled the theme pirate core and despite me being kind of torn if it is spooky or not you guys actually said that it did spooky and i think so far we have on like a little streaky streak so far everything has been spooky and i am actually pretty excited to see if for this build right here for all the goblin core scenery if you also think that it does spooky but also if you think i captured goblin core because now that i look at it i'm not sure i am not sure but i think butch likes it and that's all that counts and with that being said i really hope that you enjoyed this building do not forget to vote in the comments do not forget to tell me if it's spooky or not and also do not forget to like and subscribe <laughs> that is so awkward all right i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna see you in the next one goodbye